Neil Dorian here from AUP. Here today to tell you a little bit about the Salvimar Carbon Sapien Spear Gun. So the Sapien is available in sizes 105, 115 and 125 barrel lengths. It's a perfect all-rounder, so great for inshore type conditions where you may have a little bit of surge, it's a very maneuverable lightweight spear gun, but also more than capable due to its two 16mm bands to handle larger pelagic type species. Let's look at some of the features. So first of all, the handle is the super comfortable, ergonomically gripped Salvimar metal handle. So the metal stands for the all stainless steel configuration internally. And I've got a handle here by itself to show you some of those features. So first of all, if you look internally and I'll pull the trigger, you'll see a little roller mechanism. So unlike most stainless steel triggers, this one features a roller in between the sear and the trigger. And this eliminates binding. You often find with all stainless steel trigger mechs that after a period of time, the trigger gets hard to pull. So this feature totally eliminates that problem. It also has a sensitivity screw underneath. So you can actually personalize the sensitivity of the trigger. You'll notice this handle has the loading button removed. So it can be simply pulled off or inserted depending on what your preference is. Very, very comfortable ergonomic grip. It is also a reverse sear type trigger. So if you look at this versus a standard trigger, the actual trigger and sear is set back a lot further, meaning that you have a larger stroke of your rubber down to where it's loaded and therefore more potential power uh, from your spear gun. The barrel is all carbon. It is foam fill, which increases the density and reduces recoil and also reduces the sound. It has a rail running up three quarters of the length and down below here it has a cuddle bone shape. This increases some buoyancy creating a really nice maneuverable neutrally buoyant gun but as you move further up the barrel you'll see some cutaways and those cutaways are really designed to help the gun maneuver through the water and make it easier to track fish. Obviously most fish swim horizontally, so you need to track them to be able to fire at them as you, as you spear. The muzzle is an all open muzzle, making it extremely easy to aim down the spear. And it's got some improvements on the previous model where you've got an increased wing here at the side of the muzzle. And this is designed to ensure that the shaft doesn't move laterally off the muzzle. You also have another improvement here with a much larger wire support, which actually is designed to run the monofilament up over the top of the mu muzzle and hold it in place. So if you look at this, if I tap it, you'll see even with quite a hard tap, the shaft ne never dislodges from the muzzle. It comes standard with two 16mm rubbers and it comes with the speed type bridles that can be replaced as required. The shaft has three laser tabs welded in place and one of those has a hole through it so you can run your mono through that hole if you want or you can run it through the normal trigger mech if you prefer that. I've got a Loading notch here, which can also be used in cave type conditions if you want to depower the spear gun, and then your standard two loading notches down below. So all in all, a great all-rounder, super lightweight, and a beautiful spear gun to use.